the part one of the painting for the Power Ranger helmet. Um, there's a few supplies you need. Um, what I do is I get a cutting mat just like this. Um, it's also really helpful to have one with lines in it. Um, and I'll tell you exactly why later. Um, you will need an X-Acto knife, a pencil, and some fine sandpaper. It doesn't really matter at this point what kind, um, as long as it's waterproof. I have 1500 grit. Um, and it's also handy to have a ruler, but make sure it's metal. So when you actually cut the tape to do the detail lines, you're not cutting into a plastic ruler, you're cutting to metal. Um, first part, you want to buy your paint. Um, I used automotive paint for an Iron Man helmet I built, and it was around $11.99 um, a can of paint. And you're going to use a lot of cans. Right now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six cans, and you can see how expensive that would be. Six times $11.99 would be pretty pricey. So I decided to use Krylon. Um, it was not expensive. Uh, it was five ninety nine a can. Um, what I did was I went to Hobby Lobby, used the forty percent off, went in, grabbed a can, left, went back in, got another can. Um, with that forty percent off, you're practically getting two cans of spray paint for the price of one. Which, if you're trying to do this within a budget, it's very nice to do that. Um, the first one you want to buy is a primer. So I bought the Krylon Chrome or Color Master Primer. Um, the primer will help you find any of the low or high spots on your helmet. Um, and it also helps stick the paint on to your helmet. Um, after you spray your first coat, you're gonna, and if everything's perfect with the body, you're gonna wanna wet sand it um, because the primer is not super smooth. So you wanna get all that little nitty gritty stuff off of it. Um, after the primer, because I'm doing the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, um, I want the red to really pop. So I bought a white base coat and I used the Cryon Color Master White Gloss. Um, so I sprayed the white gloss all over the helmet after the primer, which took a couple coats to get it the way I wanted it. Um, after three to four coats of the white, I did a wet sand. Um, anyone that doesn't know what a wet sand is, all you do is you get, I like I said, I used the 15 grit, 1500 grit. Um, all I did was use a cup of water, put the sandpaper on, rub it on the helmet gently, and it's going to look like crap at first. So don't be too scared because like the first time I did it, I was like, crap, I just wasted all that paint for nothing. Um, it's going to be a little less glossy, a little dingy looking. Um, you don't need to do a heavy, you know, sand, just a light sand, it's fine dry it off, and then move on to your next coat of paint, which for me was the red. Um, this color red is Banner Red. Um, it's also a gloss red. Um, so far, I've only bought one, but I'm gonna have to get at least one more. Um, yeah, and after the wet sand, it made the gloss red actually pop really well. Um, so far, I have the back done. And here is the back part of the helmet, completely done. Um, it's not, I guess, completely, completely done. Um, I need to wax it, and I've, well, I still got to put the gloss coat over it, the, the finishing uh, coat over it, and I have to wax it to get it that really shine. But as you can see, through the reflection of the helmet, it really pops. You could actually see the window and the lights through the helmet. And this was just a couple coats of white, then I wet sanded it, then I did the red. Um, right now, as we speak, I'm doing the front of the helmet. Um, the front of the helmet's a little harder to do. You can't just spray, spray, spray. Um, and that's when it comes to all the detail lines. Um, I actually had help with this on one of the Power Ranger forums on Facebook. And he actually gave me a really awesome idea how he did his stuff. Um, you want to start out with the primer. Then you want to start out doing the black paint. Um, and you start out doing the black because after it dries, this is when you actually get your cutting board out. You get your masking tape, you line up a piece here, and then you cut a thin strip on. And you cut the thin strip, and that will act as your detail lines onto your helmet. And those are the black lines around the face, around the mouth, around the eyes, and so forth. 
which later on I'll show you the results of that but right now I'm still painting that one and it's outside as we speak black um, all I did was grab a ruler and for the fine fine detail lines I used a 1 16th of an inch um, and all you do is you come over here you line up 1 16th of an inch on one side and 1 16th on the other side um, mark it and then line it up and cut it out. Um, for the majority of the lines, I used a 2 16th of an inch line. Um, and like I said, later on, I'll show that. Um, now, for the mouthpiece, I was kind of stuck on the color. I did not want a chrome because it's not supposed to be chrome. It's supposed to be a metallic silver. So for that, I still stayed with Krylon because you, once you start with Krylon, you want to stay with it or whatever paint you decide to use because if you mix different brands they use different formulas and you could actually cause an orange peel effect so for the face plate i used a premium metallic sterling silver um i haven't tested it out yet but it should work really well from what i need it to be so all together here are the colors that i have used and i've known i have been asked what i have used so for the red, it's a banner red gloss. For the white, it's just a white gloss. And then you got the sterling silver, and then you got a black gloss. These are the only four colors that I need. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much part one of the painting. Um, if anyone has any questions, let me know. I'll try to get back to you at a reasonable time. And uh, I'll update you on painting part two.